Okay, so I'm just going to do a little experiment here. We've got um, a pot of water, which is at uh, 40 degrees C, and I'm going to add some paint. Now, these are oil-based paints. Now, the idea here is that we float the oil-based paint on top of the water. Now, this is a fast-dry enamel paint, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, add some droplets of uh, paint to the top of the water, and the idea is that this floats on the top of the water and then we're able to dip um, materials that paint will stick to. Um, now the idea here is that I'm going to um, dip a PC case basically, uh, maybe give it a camo look or something else, I haven't decided yet. Um, but this is just a little experiment just to see um, what it's capable of and if I'm able to dip a PC case. So basically what I've got, I've got a little uh, plastic spudger that I'm going to dip. So I'll just give all these uh, all these cans a shake up and take the tops off, and then we'll um, we'll start floating it on top. Um, now that's the difficult bit is getting it to float. Uh, now some of them say that you should add um, borax. Um, now I haven't got any borax um, to add to it, so I'm just using um, warm water and I'm just um, adding a bit of paint. So we'll add a bit of paint to the top here. Nice green. Now the best way to do this is to um, is to use a, a little pipette to uh, put droplets on top of the water. Now I haven't got a pipette, so I'm just going to use a pencil, and I'm just going to uh, drip the pencil over the top of the water. Okay, now that first one has sunk, but what it has done, it's left um, an oil film on top of the water now. So what will happen now is, as I add this, this should now then float on top of the uh, the oil that's on top of the water. Let's get this other can open. Now, I haven't used these paints for a while. Uh, I should, probably shouldn't be uh, pouring this. Probably should have dipped it again. So you've got to be patient with this stuff. You start to be a bit impatient and things start to go wrong. And we added a bit of white. So the idea here is that we're going to add all these colours and then we're going to mix mix them up. We're going to um, drag a matchstick through or something like that just to um, swirl the paint up. But we'll see that process in a minute as we get further down. So as you can see, I'm just adding the paint droplet at a time. So I'll just add advance this a little bit, and then we can see what um, we can see see the finished results once all the paint has been added. Okay, so we're just going to uh, swirl this a little bit now. And we've got to be careful because you can see it's dragging the paint and leaving blank spots in the water. Probably could do with a bit more paint in there. But we're only dipping a, a little plastic spudger and we're just going to see um, see how the paint adheres and if it works as well as I think it's going to. But the idea here is what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a front of a case or something, a uh, plastic front of a case, and I'm going to dip it into a bucket that's got the paint on the top and it should coat the front with the pattern that we've put on the water. Um, <clears throat> so that's all mixed up now. I'm going to add a bit more. I haven't used some of these paints for a while, I can't get the lids off some of them. Right, so this is the spudge you were going to dip. And the idea is that you go in at a bit of an angle and you lower it down through the paint layer into the bottom of the water. So we'll just start laying that down. Now I'm twisting this a little bit just to coat the other side because it's a thin, thin edge on it. So that's it now, lowered into the water. And it's sunk down to the bottom now. Now what you do now is we need to get uh, a cloth or a bit of paper or something. And we just scoop the paint that's on the surface of the water out of the way. So we just drag that across. As you can see it drags it across and removes the paint. And we'll just lift this out. Voila, a 
compressed there. Probably could have done with a little handle on there or something to hold it. Stop me getting paint on my fingers. But as you can see, the pattern that was on top of the water is now left on the uh, on the plastic part that I've that I've dipped. Uh, so with a bit of luck, we should be able to do that on a bigger scale and um, dip a front of a PC case and pimp it if you like. Um, so that's the plan. So that was just a quick experiment, just to see. Uh, See if it worked. <clears throat> and I've done this on a on a small scale here. Now the paint is still a bit uh, tacky on here, but it is a fast drying paint. So if I just put this uh, to one side now, that'll be drying with about thirty minutes, completely dry. So that was a success then. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to sign off now, and we'll give that a go on a bigger scale. So I thought I'd just share that with you and just. Um, Show you what's possible. So that's that's my plan. I'm going to uh, going to get a big PC case. I'm going to dip it and um, and see what it turns out like. Um, so yeah. So thanks for watching. Don't forget if you like my videos, don't forget to uh, favourite, like, and subscribe. Uh, if you subscribe to my channel, you will uh, get updates as and when we do new videos. Now there was a new video going up. Um, Let's have a look, when was it? It would have been on Friday. But unfortunately, when I uploaded it, um, it come back as uh, corrupted and it wouldn't uh, wouldn't finish the upload. Um, now, that was uh, testing of a motherboard circuit for the charging circuit. Um, so I need to do that again. So all the people that have been waiting for that video, it is on its way. I have made it. I just had a problem after I'd rendered it, so we've still got all the original content and everything. So we'll um, we'll re-render it and re-upload it, and fingers crossed, it'll all go good. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you again.